going everybody this is truck and van life um, today I wanted to make a video telling you about my CR England experience um, when I got my CDL I looked at the different companies and for some reason I thought CR England um, the good thing about them was the fact that they required a six-month commitment after you got your CDL um, since I was a vet normally it's nine months um, so I thought six months you know that's not bad I can do that <clears throat> so I called them got all the information um, and then this was 2016 so I've been doing I've been didn't track them for four years um, so I got there well first of all they put me in a damn Greyhound bus I'm 6'3 270 um, my knees were like dead when I got even halfway there. I mean, I was in pain the whole way. It, it, it was awful. Um, so when we got there, it was like a like a college dorm style of, of room. Um, there was eight guys in each room. So there was four bunk beds in each room. And let's see, each one had like a locker. So we had like a, you know, just like a standard high school. It was a little wider than a high school locker. Think about like a locker room locker. Um, and went through training the training wasn't bad I mean it was definitely training to the test so they so they wanted you to pass um, that was a uh, 14 days maybe maybe a little less I don't know um, I don't remember if they provided anything uh, I, I don't think they did but so I, I brought I brought like 500 bucks to eat on that was they had a bus that you could uh, take to uh, Winco, it was a, it's a store out, out west. It was in Salt Lake City. That's where the uh, CR England trains. Uh, and then one went to the Wal to Walmart. Um, it left like every every 30 minutes or something. So that was that was actually pretty pretty nice. Um, so I lived pretty much off like ramen noodles and peanut butter and just junk like that. Um, but the training wasn't bad. Uh, ended up getting my CDL. All right. So, got my CDL, they're like, hey, all right, your trainer's coming. I'm like, awesome, you know, this is gonna be great. I'm, I, I got my CDL, I'm gonna just start driving. He's gonna teach me all these things and I'm, I'm gonna learn so much because I have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, let's be honest, I, I drove around the block a couple of times and backed up onto some cones. That was about it. Um, so my trainer, he, my first trainer, he had a, a dedicated route from Nampa, Idaho to Buffalo, New York. By the way, go to CR England, you will be teaming. It is a forced team situation. They call it training. It's a team situation. There's no, we made 28 cents a mile split, 14 cents a mile. Not, not, not very, not very good at all. But again, they paid for my CDL. So what do you expect? Um, but anyway, so my trainer comes and uh, he's coming down from Nampa. He calls me. We meet. Hey, cool. Sorry if I'm shaking. Uh, they're loading me now. Uh, so we get in there. He's like, we're in Salt Lake City. He's like, all right, you know, let's let's get in there, drive, and he's just kind of watching. He's like, doing good, doing good, blah blah blah, and. For those of you who don't know, if you go from Salt Lake to Buffalo, you go through eastern Utah and western Montana, which there is some big mountains. Um, and this is my very first trip in the driver's seat outside of a training situation. So I'm driving, I just get out of, of Salt Lake City heading into the mountains, and my trainer no no kidding looks at me and goes all right i'm going back to sleep i gotta drive tonight uh just yell if you need anything i'm like yell if i need anything if i if my ass is yelling it's because we're falling off a mountain like this is my first time driving a semi truck what the hell he's like you'll be fine you'll be fine just just see if you need anything just go slow blah blah, blah. i'm like yeah i'm gonna go slow. what are you what is going on here so he's back there sleeping and I'm like puckered for hours just dry, white knuckling like holy cow you know driving up and down these mountains 
it's like, what the hell? So that gets over, which is not cool. I mean, he did. I mean, it was it was a team situation. He slept. I drove. Um, I slept when he drove, and he he drove for maybe like six to seven hours whenever he drove. So I, dr I did most of the driving, which I guess that was part of the training, as I did most of the driving. I never backed into a dock because he wanted to get back to his girlfriend or whatever quickly. So anytime we parked at night or anytime we backed into a dock to 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 unload, it was a it was a drop and a hook uh, to pick up, and then it was a live unload. But uh, yeah, he always backed in because he wanted to hurry up and get back. We were always on a tight schedule, so we had to get back. Um, the dude only ate Subway. We ate Subway every single day for like three weeks. Um, there was no other option. He was trying to lose weight. <laughs> so, but he got like a like a foot long chicken and steak with extra mayo and double cheese. And I'm like, okay, buddy, good luck. Anyway, so after all that said and done, I go back to Salt Lake City to do the Phase Two training. Which that's just another way of them to like keep paying you crap money, um, so they can like, you know, call it training, but it's really not. So I'm like, great, I'm gonna get another another trainer, which isn't a big deal, not a big deal. This guy was driving me nuts. Like he played Pokemon Go all the time. Like we had to stop several times because there was there was like a like a Pokey something or other, like a Pokeball or Pokey. I ended up calling him Pokey nuts because he was so he was obsessed with Pokemon Go. I'm like oh my god. Um, I forgot what I was, the hell I was saying, but anyway, yeah, he was a Pokemon guy, and uh, so we get back to Salt Lake City. I'm gonna meet my second um, trainer. Like, oh, by the way, there's a wait. Um, you know, you got to wait like a, like a day or two. I'm like, okay, no problem. You know, I'll just kind of lay here and you know stay in these like prison style dorms with eight dudes to a probably. 12 by 12 room, whatever. One one bathroom. So that's always awesome. Um, there was kind of like a. They had a they had a big bathroom like the center of the like the floor. It was like a hall shower, so it wasn't bad. There was like eight eight or nine showers and like a big, with like six or eight, like uh, toilets and stuff. So that that was never an issue. But anyway, holy hell! The next, the day after, I get a call my trainer's coming up, okay, but this is, this is no joke, no, no lying, no exaggeration, I meet this guy, his name's Jerry, cool guy, you know, he's talking, he's kind of like asking me questions, like, you know, I think he's like testing me, like, he's like, you know, hey, you know, what, what's going on here, what, what do we do with this, what's with this, and I'm like, dude, I don't know, like, you're the trainer, um, I, you know, I wasn't, I was, I wasn't nice about it, and I was kind of like, I don't know, man, just, just tell me, you know, I I I, I, I want to learn. And he's like, what? what? What do you mean? He's like, um, I I am ready to learn. You know, you're you're my trainer. And he's like, no, 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 no. You're you're my trainer. I'm like, what? What the hell? What? Come to find out, he was my trainer. He literally got his CDL 21 days before I got mine. 21 days, three weeks. And he was my trainer. They sent us out for like a couple of months. Just, we were like lost the whole time. The dispatcher never answered our questions ever. We only got like our load info and just like the company messages. That's it, he never ever answered. Anytime we called to talk to him, Nope, nothing. Couldn't get it. Like they they protected him in like a whole other building that was guarded by a locked gate. And sorry if it's dark, um, but yeah, twenty one days. He was my trainer, and we had we had no freak out of it. Somehow we made it through. Um, it was insane. Like he twenty one days, and he they called him my trainer. I was. That was the most trial, like throw your ass into the deep end, trial by fire, like you just learn by doing it. That was, you know, and it's not, it's probably not the smartest thing to do with an 80,000 pound vehicle 
going into cities and backing up into, you know, uh, it's surprised that we even lived or didn't kill somebody. It was, it was crazy. Um, so if you ever think about CR England and you're a kind of a just jump in and do it kind of a guy, that's your place. Uh, if you have any questions, um, I know a ton of trainer companies. Um, uh, I've, I've heard a lot about different ones. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask uh, in the comments, um, or you can email me. That's trucking, T-R-U-C-K-I-N-G, van life at Gmail. And just shoot me an email, ask me questions. I will respond. Um, yeah, I know this isn't a, this isn't a van life video at all, but, uh, it's, uh, it's a CR England experience slash nightmare. That'll probably be the title of the video because um, first first journey out, the dude just goes and passes out while I'm driving through the, the mountains. And then my next trainer got a CDL 21 days before I did. Like, subscribe, talk to you later.